What is pharmacovigilance? Pharmaceutical drugs are some of the most tightly regulated products on the planet. To bring them to market, you need a strong quality management system guided by strict quality parameters and target attributes to ensure your finished product does what it's supposed to. But this important quality work doesn't stop when your product hits the market. If something's gone wrong with your drug that you didn't detect and a patient has a bad reaction or your drug just doesn't work at all, you need to know to ensure it doesn't happen again. This is where pharmacovigilance becomes a key activity for staying on the market and maintaining the trust of your patients and your customers. Different parts of the world have different pharmacovigilance expectations. In the U.S., the FDA's post-market requirements tell you what you need to do to keep tabs on your products. In the EU, good pharmacovigilance practice, or GVP, is important. And the International Council of Harmonization, or ICH, has some global pharmacovigilance standards you can follow. Whatever you decide to follow, there are some key components you should definitely get in place. First, identifying and controlling your product risks with a risk management plan. Safety specifications should pinpoint all the known and potential risks of your drug, and you should have a proactive, routine safety monitoring plan in place with steps to reduce your risks and stop them from harming patients. Next, you should have access to real-time, real-world safety data so you can watch your drug move through the market. There are lots of sources you can tap into to give yourself this visibility. Finally, you should have a system in place for identifying and prioritizing any adverse events that could occur so you know what to focus on. Modern tools like AI, machine learning, and big data analytics are beginning to have an impact in this area, letting you harvest and weigh up real-world data and make smarter, continuous improvement decisions. Remember, serious adverse events have to be reported to your relevant regulatory body, usually within 15 days. Failure to spot and respond to adverse events could bring fines, reputational damage, extra regulatory scrutiny, and even market withdrawal for your product. So the stakes are high. To learn more about getting digital, best-in-class pharmacovigilance and post-market surveillance processes in place, visit qualio.com slash product slash pharmacovigilance dash software.